I forgot to buy a king key. This is terrible! No planning at all behind this tutorial. Jeez. Um, oh right, I don't have wing boots there. Should not be holding claw just yet. <laughs> okay. screen. That breath was a little bit deep there. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the talking to the guru. I guess you could buy your meat here, but obviously it'll be cheaper to do it in the previous town, where it's 180. So I'm just gonna buy one key for the sake of making the save state. I actually recommend buying two meats in the previous town if you're new to running the game, just so you can have lots and lots of magic. Anyway, I've used key state 8, lots of magic. Okay, so here's the thing, if you pause your wing boots too well, you can't actually do this strat on the next screen because it involves shooting magic in the air, and that will make you... Oh, excuse me, I had to mute the mic because I burped. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'll just show you what you do. You just get a double hit and uh, shoot a deluge. This works every time. Oh wow, as soon as I say that, it doesn't work. That's hilarious. Well, okay, I better figure out what does work then. Certainly not hitting once. This is the worst tutorial ever. Yeah, twice is not reliable. Well, I've had... I can say for sure I've had the most luck with a triple hit strategy like that. Usually they let you walk underneath. Uh, right here you jump... not there. Right, it's in between the third and the fourth um, curtain, or uh, doorway. Yeah, in between three and four. So I don't know where those guys' hitboxes are. Okay, I'm gonna pause here to talk about the two different strats you use once you're in here. In fact, I'm... no, I don't have a save state for this exactly. Okay, I'll do the, the easy way first. So when you get to this screen, because you just got wing boots, there is a, this is a special item screen. There's ointment hiding here, but you just got the wing boots one. So your counter is back to zero, or one, however you think of it. So this is your first visit. Item appears on your fourth visit, of course. So I gotta go one, two, three, four. So this is the faster way to do it, just jump over and take a hit. Otherwise, just stay on the ground and, you know, poke at that guy to keep him away without getting hit. Shouldn't be a big deal though. I mean, this is an absurdly huge amount of health to have. In fact, this is bad because you have to death warp to get out of here, so the sooner you die, the better. Oh, it's actually faster to climb up. It's been so long since I did this that I forgot. Yeah, it's definitely faster to climb up. There's a bunch of holes in the floor on the second level there, so you can just drop down. This jump is actually really tricky because you don't have walk speed. You have to walk till your back foot is on it. Ointment lasts you plenty long enough, but going to the boss screen sets your ointment timer to zero, so he'll take it away from you. You can actually use wing boot pausing, like the same uh, precepts. Anyway, how do you kill this guy? Well, you just walk left so he jumps over you into the corner, and then I think it should be pretty obvious. You jump, you just, yeah, you jump at him to, when your height matches, and you mash B to stab and shoot deluges as fast as you can. And it looks like this. Basically, the more magic you have, the more you can keep that guy stunlocked in the corner. The safer it's gonna be for you. Then when you're done, climb back out. The Black Onyx raises your defense, though, so 
You want to try to take hits from the skeleton guy. He does way more than the pine cone. And then you're out of there. That's the easy way to do it, of course. Um, so what I have here is a save state showing what you would do otherwise. Okay, so F6 is like my low magic version for whatever reason. I'll just go from that as well. Just to show how little magic you can get away with if you're willing to play safe or risky depending on your mindset. Okay, so... I don't want to get hit twice, so I just stab those guys twice. You can skip the ointment. This is really hard though. Um, you have to climb up here and fight this guy. I'll just do it once and then talk about it. Okay, so that looked really easy, but there's actually a lot, a lot of nuance to it. So, it starts on this screen. Um, you have to watch what this wyvern does. His animations are like on a repeating clock of sorts, but all wyverns are synced up along with this. If I just go up, like, say, right now, by the time I climb up, that fireball is going to hit me in the face. So, what you have to do is, uh, you climb upstairs when this guy lifts his wings upwards. So, yeah, wait for that. So you go up now. And that guy throws, like, a fake fireball. So you can jump over the first one. Oh, a double hit. Spacing's a little messy here. That was really close. Okay, so I'm gonna keep fighting this guy to talk about stuff that's going on. It's really hard to jump over this guy's fireballs without walk speed. It's, it's like, it's even harder than playing Street Fighter. So you gotta jump over the first one. Remember you lose walk speed when you hit with your sword as well. Like, notice how I'm, oh, that was bad. But luckily getting body checked by the wyvern does a lot less damage than the fireball. Well, it doesn't matter, because you're gonna die once you fall down here and are stuck fighting that guy. It's pretty much run over. Because it costs you three minutes to farm another cane key and then another pair of wing boots and get back in here. So notice how I'm walking left each time to build up walk speed again so I can make it over these fireballs. There's a couple things that can vary. The import most important thing to remember is that the longsword does 10 damage, Wyvern has 75 HP, so you, you win in... Uh, seven stabs. Or sorry, eight stabs. I was gonna say seven if you throw out a deluge like that, but uh... Oh, dang! I'm glad I thought of that. I might start doing that. <laughs> I'm totally gonna start doing that, actually. That could be my next big time-saving thing. Could save like an entire second, yo. No, more like two seconds. Ooh, see? It got, got kind of greedy there. Remember, you stop, you stop dead in the air as well when you land your sword. You, like, all your forward momentum stops, and your walk speed is set to zero. Oh yeah, you gotta wait. That's right, it's lift his wings up, not just have them airborne. And I guess you have to wait a little bit. There we go. So notice how hard it is to neutral jump over these fireballs. It's even harder with Sprite Flicker, of course. Anyway, you gotta get out of this screen as soon as possible, because these boulders just will kill you. They're not very- they're not threatening anyway, they're only gonna kill you if you actually, like, stay on the screen or try to climb up. Notice, uh... Yeah, my timing was a little different leaving that screen, so even the wyvern's attacking differently. That was kind of a risky move there, but I should just be counting hits and know, that, like, oh, if I get a double hit, it's over. Yeah, anyway, you just drop down to the right, and there you go. Remember, you don't have ointment active here, so watch your health. If your health is... Okay, I have enough health to survive a pinecone hit. It's going to reduce me to a little below where my magic meter is right now. But since I'm trying to death warp, I want to take the hit. And I'll just get uh, pushed into the corner. All I have to do is turn around and double stab him. Don't walk through. Because he will run to the right through you. Push you down. Probably kill you. <laughs> Blue skeleton guy will wreck you. But yeah. Ointment skip, if you can do it, saves 15 seconds, because you skip three screen refreshes. And this is what you do if you don't have very much magic, is um, just save your deluges for right when he lands, because that's when he'll turn around and try to jump out and hit you. So use your use a couple deluges then to try to push him back into the corner and keep him there. Keep her there. Keep the giant hopping skull dog dude in the corner. You know. <laughs> Okay, either way, once you get the black onyx, you death warp and come back to here. Which save state is this? Okay, it's the right one. Good. 
So equip your top pair of wing boots. Doesn't really matter, but I always equip the top one. So you gotta go fly up top here. Stand on the rightmost block of this platform here. And then when you're ready, well, I'm not ready yet, I got a burping. That was a small one, anyway. Um, you actually don't need to do a wing boot extension because this is a really short flight. But there are some ladder rejumps you can do if you're fancy. So I'll just try to do this in one go and talk about everything that happens. So you always almost get 39 here, I don't know why. You want to double stab this guy, he'll walk towards you a little bit. Fire a deluge during your animation. Uh, jump over this guy and then go into the building. If you are really good at it, which I usually not, uh, you'll keep your walk speed going in here. The safe thing to do is just double stab him when you enter the screen and walk in. You lose walk speed for sure, but that's the most reliable way. Basically just get into this building, he'll give you the ace key. When you come out, same thing there. You might get hit, but he does no damage. Uh, what do you do here? Stab? Yeah, stab is best. Double stab, then stab again. As soon as you land, he'll walk into the outstretched tip of your sword. Get double stabs on all these guys. Fire a deluge at that last guy, for sure. Uh, I have to figure out the right rhythm. You can kill that guy in one stab animation. Oh, okay, there's two different ways to do this, actually. Depends on if you did ointment skip or not. Well, actually, not really. Basically, there's ointment on that screen. If you took the ointment there, it appears on first visit. So you can grab it and use it to go through all this stuff. Harassment free, which is nice, but if you did ointment skip, it's not going to be there first visit, so don't bother. So I guess I'm doing the uh, ointment skip version right now. I'll do all this again in a second. Oh yeah, just keep walking. You'll eventually get damage boosted forward. Take a lot of damage, but... Like I said, everything involves death warping. Skip this guy's dialogue. Just talk to him so that you respawn here after you die. So yeah, double stab. Block, yeah, chase that guy down and stab him again. I believe those guys have 29 HP, so one deluge will not suffice. You can jump into the screen and jump again. Uh, unlike Mega Man games, you can just like, do that. Uh, just walk and this guy will push you to the right. It's faster than fighting him. Remember, you need to get killed soon. Uh, the screen can go down two ways, depending on which staircase you jump onto, but basically, yeah, you want to stab one of those wraiths and get across the bridge. Jump from the sec uh, the first stair, get pushed to the right, just walk through this guy. Uh, this screen is tricky, actually. You have to jump into the B and then jump again. Once you have good timing, you can clear both stairs. Make sure you hit that guy, bird does a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, I think I have enough health to do this. Yeah, just barely. Yeah, you're gonna get pushed to the right and then pushed to the right again. That's really good. Notice how much magic I have, so... Hey, you actually can't jump into this screen. Oh, wait, you can! It's just really hard for some reason. Oops, that guy went to the left. You want to stand over here a little bit? Just a beta minute going right. If you did ointment skip, this should be first visit. Except it wasn't. What happened? I thought I just did ointment skip. What state did I load from? Anyway, if you did ointment skip, wing boots will appear right here. They should just be their first visit, which is an additional time savings that ointment skip will give you if you did it. I am just really befuddled as to why, though. Why didn't it appear? I don't know. Oh, I guess, alright, you didn't see poison. On, if you see poison on the screen with the ace key when you're leaving it, after you kill that banjo guy, uh, <laughs> the minstrel enemy, if you see poison, then that means wing boots will appear here first visit. So after you kill that guy, same as the first one, just like push him in the corner, do battle suit stuff. It takes way too long to wait for these guys to fall down, so I just go to the next screen, jump into this guy, usually twice. That was nice, and I only took one hit. Okay, so after this death warp, I would end the tutorial here, but I want to do uh, this section again. Just with uh, ointment strats. Just so I can show you uh, the alternate visits route that would go down otherwise. Okay, so this is first, this is one. Let's visit the second, third visit, uh, fourth visit, the ointment.
time it appears. have 125 HP, I think, but I wasn't counting. I just mash. I know. <laughs> I just have this like weird game sense where if they don't die in two jumps, they must be one hit away from dying. So I just start walking left towards the black onyx anyway. Okay, so visits counter should be at uh, one again. Oh right, I forgot to talk to the dude. So I guess... That's what I get for making clumsy temporary save states. So I guess I can show off the save strat over and over here. Okay, that should be second, actually. Third. Fourth? Joke's on me, I bet it isn't. Yup. So I think this one is actually second. I'm one hit away from dying, and very low on magic. This is the most nerve-wracking this boss fight can possibly be. Okay, I was gonna run away after that, then he'll jump over me to the left. And I'd probably just go like that for one more hit. So I guess it's not that much slower to come in here with very little magic. I'll have to remember that in my own runs. Okay, so, doing ointment strats. Tower of ointment. <laughs> Gonna respawn in victim. I'm pretty sure this town is called victim. <laughs> the other one is mask on. Excuse me. Okay. Let's climb up here. Fly from... Okay, so wing boost timing is much tighter if you're doing... Uh... Oops. So that's... That could actually make a difference. But I practiced this so much that I, like, I practiced this before I even knew how to do, um, wing boot extension strats, so. That's how you punch that guy out of the way to get in here. It's pretty easy. Fat for the confederacy. Okay. So no poison. Definitely a sign that, uh, <laughs> the wing boots wouldn't let me first visit. You have lots of magic at your disposal during this life, so that looked a little cleaner. Anyway, so on this screen, there's the ointment. It's behind these roots here. It's going to appear first visit if you did ointment strats in the tower. Do a rejump if you can, but otherwise just climb quickly using Wing Boots power. When you have Ointment, you can walk through these guys really easily. Uh-oh. I'm gonna extend, actually. 
it's really important you have it because you need it to fly over this bottle of poison. And even if you have ointment, as you can see, you'll get hit by it. Take a nasty chunk of damage. Animate, like, text box comes up that slows you down more. So, practice that a lot. I did it without extensions, almost. <laughs> but you can definitely do it without extensions. I just haven't done it in so long. That's, like, not where my practice has been focused these past few years. Like, actually years. <laughs> Why did I kill that guy for food? I still have ointment active. Probably could have walked through that guy, actually. Oh well. Um, if you fall down there, add one to your visits counter. It doesn't always happen, but if it does, that's how you recover from it. Just so gotta add one to your visits counter, proceed to the right, climb out. That's all you do. I should do the screen in slow motion, but yeah, I am jumping into the B. Then I walk into that block a little bit to get the good timing. If you take a hit from the bird, that's how much it's for. If you can't take a hit from this guy, just jump up and double stab like that. Oh, what the? Whatever. I'm just gonna climb up. Um, I think it's faster to just hit that guy. Anyway. So we're gonna go down one, two, and the wing boots should appear. Yeah, there they are. But yeah, these are first visit if you did ointment skip. I swear, that's the <laughs> I don't know why they weren't in that one safe state. But anyway, same as usual, once you get the battle suit, go over here and bump into Mario a bunch of times to Death Worm. And that'll be part three of the Effects Anadu tutorial series. I'll have to remember to start the highlight from the beginning, though. Or a little after the beginning. That was a rough start.